We finally learn how Peter and Mary Jane broke up, how she suddenly has two kids with this guy, and why all the superheroes are mad at Spider-Man. One year ago, Peter and Mary Jane were attacked and transported to an alternate universe by the villain Rabin. It's confusing, but basically Rabin wants to become a god by using Spider-Man's totem energy. While they're being hunted by Rabin, they run into this guy, Paul, who helps Peter create a device that can transport one of them back to their own universe. Peter intends to send MJ, but MJ sends Peter instead. Peter lands back on Earth, creating a giant crater, and learns that time passes much faster in this alternate universe. Pete tries to get the Fantastic Four's help, but they want to run some tests on him to confirm his story, which he doesn't have time for. Peter steals technology from them and leaves. Captain America also tries to stop Peter to find out why his Spider-Man suit was found in the giant crater, but Peter doesn't have time to explain, so he slams him with his own shield and escapes. He then turns to a recently reformed Norman Osborn, who helps Peter teleport himself back to the alternate reality, where years must have passed since Mary Jane seemingly now has two children with Paul. The next issue promises to tell us more about Paul and what happened in the years that Mary Jane was trapped in this alternate reality.